Hello, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to set up an automatic price calculator for your property rental site using JetBooking and JetForm Builder. By the end of this video your booking form will dynamically calculate the total cost including different rates based on the number of nights, selected dates and optional services and display the total price both on the form and on the WooCommerce checkout. Before we start, make sure you have the following plugins installed and activated. JetBooking, which handles the core booking functionality, JetForm Builder for creating and managing your booking forms, and JetEngine, because your rental properties are actually custom post types built with JetEngine. We also have WooCommerce activated for the demonstration of how to connect booking forms with WooCommerce Checkout. In this example, we're using a Crocoblock dynamic template called Bali Rento. It already includes a set of custom post types for properties that will be available for rent as well as a booking form. If you'd like to learn how to build booking forms like this from scratch, check out one of our previous YouTube tutorials. This particular form is already attached to the single property pages thanks to the Jet Theme Core plugin. But you can also reuse the same form elsewhere on the site or access it through Jet Engine listings. Now let's move on to setting the base prices. Head over to your WordPress dashboard and go to Booking Settings. In the General tab, make sure the booking mode is set to Plain. This mode enables core booking functionality with or without WooCommerce integration. Next, select the post type used for your booking instance. In our case, it's Properties. And don't forget to enable the WooCommerce integration toggle. Now open any post of the Properties type and scroll down to the Pricing Settings block. This section was added by the Jet Booking plugin. Here you enter the price per day or night and this field only accepts numbers, no symbols or text. Also you can see the field name that will later be used for calculating the total cost. This is also the section where we set additional rates and discounts. Click Add Rates and then hit Add New Rate. For example, if you want to offer a lower price for bookings of 3 nights or more, Set the from days nights value to 3 and enter the new price per day. You can add as many custom rates as you'd like, for instance a different rate for a full week or full month bookings. Once you're done, click save. You will now notice a small dot on the add rates button that means extra rates have been added. Right next to it there's a button for setting special prices for specific days of the week. This is where you go if you want to set weekend pricing. Click the button, toggle on any day you want to customize and enter the price in the field. Then click save. Below that, there's an option for seasonal prices. Click add price and from there you can optionally set a title for your seasonal offer, define the price per day or night and choose the start and end dates for the season. You can also set exceptions, for example apply special pricing when several days in a row are booked or for specific days of the week within the selected period. You'll also find a toggle for date picker configuration, which lets you control how the date picker behaves during the seasonal period. Starting day offset controls how soon a user can book from today. Min days sets the minimal number of nights required. Max days limits the maximum number of nights allowed for that rate. You can create multiple seasonal prices by clicking add price again. Now let's make sure the booking form displays the calculated price based on the rates and options selected all before the user submits the form. To do that open the booking form from JetForm Builder forms. Here's a quick rundown of what's inside the form. It appears on a single property pages and includes a hidden field that stores the current post ID, a check-in check-out block from JetBooking, a select field for the number of guests, a three checkbox fields, each one offering two optional services where each option has a numeric value. Now add a calculated field block. In the top settings bar you'll see a button to open a list of macros for referencing form fields. On the side panel look for booking macros. The one we need is macro for the property price which includes the price field name I mentioned earlier. 
Using these macros and some simple math, we'll build a formula to calculate the total price. Here's the formula. It calculates the total as number of booked days times property price per day night plus price for any services checked in the first group multiplied by the number of guests plus services price from the second group multiplied by the number of days plus the price for the third group of the services. Don't forget to add a prefix like total price and a currency sign so users can clearly see what's being calculated. Now let's connect our form and the total price to WooCommerce. Go to the Post Submit Actions tab, click Add Action and choose Apartment Booking. Map the required fields including Apartment ID, Check-in Check-out dates and for the WooCommerce price field select your calculated field. If you skip this last step, WooCommerce will use the default daily price and not your advanced formula. Click Update to save the form. And we're done with customizing it. Before we check the results on the front, let's display the dynamic pricing on the apartment single page right above the form. To do that, I need to add any widget block that supports dynamic sources. Since the single pages are built in Elementor here, I'll add a heading widget Click on the dynamic tag icon and select Jet Booking Price Per Day Night. In the settings, choose Price Range. This ensures that if the selected period includes days with different rates, the full range will be displayed. Then toggle on Change Dynamically so the price updates automatically based on the date selected in the form. You can also insert the currency sign and select its position here and customize the widget styling. When you're happy with the layout, hit publish or update. Let's go to a property single page. Now your booking form calculates prices automatically with support for flexible pricing and extra services. And thanks to WooCommerce integration, after form submission we get into WooCommerce checkout where we can proceed with additional required personal and payment info and see the total price information. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tutorials like this. If you have questions, drop them in the comments, we always check them. Thanks for watching.